mechanical engineering degree. In the beginning, I was a construction engineer. Now, when I'm working through, I was influenced by many engineers. How they work, how the engineers look like, what they work, and I got the interest of to be an engineer. But my A levels are so small. Helping me was not enough to go to a convention university. Therefore, I found openings to provide uh, engineering degrees, but there is no specified entry requirement. Therefore, I registered there and continued my work. The university helped me to go through my education and also it helped to adjust the day's books and the lab practices according to my job requirement as well. And uh, mostly with the spare time I worked with that one, they were able to reschedule them. And they also given me the first uh, Mahapala. In the meantime, I applied for a production engineer role in, in the manufacturing organization in Sri Lanka. I was an uh, undergraduate student of mechanical engineering, they provided me that job. That was my first engineering experience. And I finished my engineering degree and applied for Institute of Engineers membership and I got it as an associate member. I moved to another company called Brandix and as an automation engineer after my degree and I was looking after automation uh, and machine improvement uh, the Casualia cluster which was looking out of 17 different manufacturing factories. And later on I got a promotion head of automation engineering and innovation for the Casualia cluster. In that time, that was a very good salary at scale, even in a top level in Sri Lanka. And furthermore, I wanted to study further. Therefore, I uh, registered to the Master of Industrial Automation Electrical Engineering degree in Kartubat University. And I completed that with, uh, with a good level of pass. And I was a student of the many batch stops in Sri Lanka University. Then I tried to move to New Zealand and I applied for membership of Engineering New Zealand and they granted me the Engineering New Zealand membership with my local university degree in the mechanical and plant engineering discipline. I applied for the PR and in New Zealand they given same marks given to Auckland University Mechanical Engineering degree to my open university degree. Therefore, it is well known that it is open university is internationally recognized. There is no doubt about that. And I got more than once I needed for my peer and I moved to New Zealand. In here, I joined a steel manufacturing plant called New Zealand Steel. I was a process improvement engineer, started here, and I worked promoted to process improvement and automation. I was a reliability engineer, and now I'm working as a senior engineer in the plant. I gained a lot of recognition through the other engineers, and it was given a big opportunity to light up open city degree. There are plenty of opportunities everywhere in the world for either kind of engineering work. Don't think twice, let's go for it.